Okay, I've been trying to figure out how to visualize these wavetables. I decided to use the Pi Gamer because it's got a screen, audio output, some UI elements here to help drive around. And um, I decided to render the wavetable as an image where each line of the image is one wave and then all the waves are shown um, as just lines of this image. Let me get you a little closer here. And uh, so yeah, this is the Adventure Kid Waveform's Greatest Hits, I think it is. Um, but let's try changing a different wavetable. This is some analog inspired wavetable, uh, analog inspired waveforms on a wavetable. You can see these ones at the bottom here that have a lot of sort of noise, have much more harmonic content than the ones up higher. Like this one sounds kind of like a square wave. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, this is from Braids, the Eurorack module. It's got a wavetable mode. And uh, stop the scan at a single wave. Kind of focus in on this one part here. More of the braids waveforms. These images look so cool. They're very impressionistic. <laughs> this is from the uh, PPG, no, sorry, the Waldorf Microwave. This is one of the, one of the very early wavetable synths that I really wanted one back in like the early 90s or something. Now I can do it on Pi Gamer. <laughs> but listen to the top part of this. It's another popular sound module in your rack world that has wavetables. And their wavetable image is just beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> so all these changes in sound are just from scanning through. It's a single note that's being held, scanning through the wavetable. It's just amazing. Where are the plates? Oh, this black and white print in here is like a pulse with modulation emulation. <laughs> cool. back to the original waveform we're looking at. So yeah, this is just, I've been doing this all day. It's uh, it's, it's really fun. Um, the code will be up on, uh, well, right now it's up on a gist uh, on GitHub. And um, yeah, if you've got a Pi Gamer, try this out. <laughs> all right.